welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'll be showing you three vegan, beginner-friendly meals. Everything is really simple to make. You can make them in under 10 minutes and everything has less than five ingredients. But before we get started, I just want to say if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more because I upload videos like this every single week. So now let's go ahead and jump right into the video. For the first meal, we have oatmeal. You're going to need half a cup of oats, about a tablespoon of maple syrup, berries or any kind of fruits that you would like, plant milk, and hemp hearts. Start by boiling some water because we're going to use it to cook the oats. Add your oats to a bowl and then add your water to just cook them and let them soak for about 4 to 5 minutes. Then you can add in your maple syrup. You can go ahead and add in your plant milk. I added about half a cup but I like my oats to be a bit runny. And now I'm just adding any toppings. I'm adding some berries and also the hemp hearts. But like I said, you can add anything that you would like. Now this part is optional, but I do like to add some peanut butter on top of my oats. And I always use the natural peanut butter because it's not as sticky and it's easier to just drizzle on top of the oats. It adds a nice touch and I think it's really delicious so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Oatmeal is such a staple for me and such a beginner friendly meal that that's why I wanted to share that with you guys. I used to eat it all the time when I first went vegan and obviously I still do so I hope you guys try these and let me know how you like it. For the second meal I made some really easy rosé linguine. For that, you're going to need some linguinis, a can of tomatoes, a cup of spinach, a quarter of a cup of nutritional yeast, and some cashew milk. Add a pot to a stove on medium heat. Add your can of tomatoes to your pot, and then go ahead and add your plant milk. I'm adding about a cup of cashew milk. Add your nutritional yeast and then mix that all up and bring that to a boil. Now just go ahead and add in your pasta into the sauce and that's just gonna cook into one pot but at the beginning I just added about half the can of tomatoes but I do recommend that you add in everything because there wasn't enough sauce for me so I just went ahead and added all of the tomatoes. Finally, I added some spinach for some extra greens. When the noodles are done, you can just remove that from the heat and it's that simple guys. It's just a one pot pasta that's really easy to make and just really, really delicious. I hope you guys try this recipe, it is really easy to make and really beginner friendly. I think it's a really easy meal to make if you're just new to veganism and you don't really know what to make because it only takes about 10 minutes to make and it's all in one pot and it's only 5 ingredients so it's really really easy. Even if you're not a beginner, I think it's a really good meal to make because who doesn't like a 10 minute meal, I mean? Next we have some burrito bowls. You're going to need some kidney beans, rice, tomatoes, corn, and salsa. Start by cooking your rice according to the packaging. Now 
for this burrito bowl, we're gonna be using this rice as a base and I'm just gonna put everything else on top. So now I'm just putting the kidney beans, the tomatoes, corn, and last but not least, the salsa. I just used some store-bought salsa. As you can see, this meal is really, really easy to make, but I can say that it will keep you full and it is so good. Like the other two recipes that I showed you, this was only five ingredients and it was really beginner friendly and so easy to make. So I hope you guys try this one. Let me know if you do. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe for more because I upload every single week. And also, if you want to see more vegan, beginner-friendly meals, I'll leave some videos that I made down below that could be really helpful for you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!